Alright, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris Gaming and welcome to Black Ops Cold War News. In today's video, we'll be talking about when Black Ops Cold War Warzone will launch, the two new confirmed weapons and the PC requirements required to be able to play Black Ops Cold War. And anytime if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to see for the like button for everything Call of Duty, make sure to subscribe, turn on the notification bell and join the notification squad, and let's get right into it. Recently, Activision released their Q3 financial report and they ended up revealing quite a lot of things regarding Black Ops Cold War. But first, let's start with the PC requirements before we move on to the Warzone information. The video on the screen right now is the Black Ops Cold War trailer for PC and along Alongside this trailer, we also got a PC specification chart. So let's go through what you will need to run Black Ops Cold War on your PC with and without 4K and ray tracing. Okay, let's go through the bare minimum that you will need in your PC to be able to run Black Ops Cold War. For operating system, you'll need at least a Windows 7 64-bit or Windows 10 64-bit. For CPU, you'll need at the very least Intel Core i3 4340 or the AMD FX 6300. For RAM, you'll need 8 gigabytes of RAM. And for the HDD, just at launch, you'll need 175 gigabytes minimum because multiplayer only is 50 gigabytes and for the video you'll need an nvidia geforce gtx 670 or gtx 1650 or the radeon hd 7950 now let's move on to the recommended and this is what track recommends you have in your pc to run black ops cold War at 60 fps in most situations with all options set to medium for the operating system you'll need a windows 10 64 bit latest update cpu you'll need an intel core i5 2500k or the amd ryzen r5 1600x processor for ram you'll need 12 gigabytes of ram for hdd you'll need 175 gigabytes and for the video you'll need an nvidia geforce gtx 970 or the gtx 1660 super or radeon r9 390 or the amd rx 580 just keep in mind if you guys do not plan to play on 4k with ray tracing then i recommend you guys to stop at recommended you don't need to go further but if you are planning to have ray tracing and 4k then these are the specs for the operating system you'll need windows 10 64 bit latest update cpu you'll need at least intel i7 8700k or the amd ryzen 1800x ram you'll need 16 gigabytes of ram hd DD once again you'll need 175 gigabytes and for the video you'll need nvidia geforce rtx 370 now we move on to the competitive and it's the same thing as recommended with ray tracing however the only changes in video and you'll need nvidia geforce gtx 1080 or the rtx 370 or radeon rx vega 64 graphics and finally the ultra rtx 4k and all that good stuff it's the same thing as competitive but you'll need just two changes and there is the hdd you need 250 gigabytes and for the video you'll need nvidia geforce rtx 380 now that we have finished from the pc specs let's move on to the warzone information that we got in activision's financial report straight away the first thing is going to be a bit disappointing i'm not gonna lie to you guys but black ops cold war warzone won't be available at launch instead it will launch sometime in december alongside the release of season one of content yes you heard that correctly that basically means that we won't have a new map or new content for warzone from black ops cold war's side until season one which like i said will be sometime in december but like i said it's quite disappointing because i was excited to see the new warzone experience in black ops cold war but we will have to wait a bit longer for that and i guess that's fine we have to give them as much time as they can to make it as good as they can and in my opinion i rather have it released later than release on launch but full of glitches and just basically being unplayable what do you guys think about this tell me in the comment section down below we move on and the president of activision also mentioned that any weapon you unlock between level 1 and 55 in black ops cold war will be usable in warzone when it's finally integrated so you can use loadouts from modern warfare and black ops cold war in warzone for example you can use the xm4 from black ops cold war in warzone and you could come up against someone who is using the grow from modern warfare or vice versa and that's absolutely amazing because all your work in modern warfare won't go to waste like the previous years you can still use all your content from modern warfare into warzone however the interesting part in all of this is the fact that he said between rank 1 and 55 now he didn't say anything about what happens past rank 55 which could still mean we have a prestige system but at the same time it could still be the same level system from modern warfare and just like you guys can see in the tweet from charlie intel i'll leave a link in the description down below he did say that the progression system will work similar to that of modern warfare's progression system but unfortunately he refused to say anything else about the progression system System. And if you go by that, it pretty much confirms that the prestige system is probably not gonna come back because let's be honest, prestige system is nothing similar to that of Modern Warfare and the Activision president, he said it's gonna be similar to Modern Warfare. So I'm guessing no more prestige system and we're just gonna have the same thing as we had in Modern Warfare. But I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that's quite disappointing, but I hope one day we will have the prestige system back again. With everything the Activision's president said regarding Warzone and the progression system, it actually raises some questions. For example, if you are not getting Black Ops Cold War Warzone on launch, what about the whole nuke event? It was rumored to be happening before the launch of Black Ops Cold War. War, so when Black Ops Cold War launched, it was going to be ready. But with it being delayed to December, it looks like we won't have a nuke event anytime soon, and we will still have to use Verdansk for the time being. Also, are we gonna have a season seven in Modern Warfare? I mean, Warzone has to still be supported, and we know that Treyarch won't support Warzone until December at least. And what is this new progression system that they refuse to talk about? We are not sure yet, but we will hopefully know everything in less than two weeks' time when Black Ops Cold War finally launches. I also wanted to bring your guys' attention to the two new confirmed weapons that will be in Black Ops Cold War. If you guys are paying attention to the video, you'll have seen not only the channel 
Blade but also you would've seen the FAMAS. Obviously these are two iconic and fan favorite weapons from Black Ops 1 and they will be making their way to Black Ops Cold War. Thank you guys for watching this video if you wanna watch more make sure to click the video on the screen at any time if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to see for the like button 15 Call of Duty make sure to subscribe turn on notification bell and join the notification squad and I'll catch you guys later.